Hey, creative birdies, how are you guys today? It's me, Sigrid. Hopefully I'm not covering their microphone. So, what is today? Let's check. January 22nd, 2021. So, I may have to ha go, I may have to go to jury duty Monday. Let's see what day is Monday. Actually, I'll, well, the, Monday the 25th. I'm hoping after jury duty, if jury duty, if I need to go, I'm hoping after it's done. I don't even know if they're hosting jury duty at this time during COVID, especially here in Los Angeles due to the new virus strain. I hope I don't need to go in because I'm really afraid of it, uh, as we all are. I'm assuming. I'm actually in my art room right now. I hope you guys found my review somewhat helpful. <laughs> it was one of those reviews where I just needed to get it done. Uh, that item was gifted to me uh, through the company. And I all I needed to do was make a review. So... Um, I like the machine. I've been using it. Um, I just have one thing to say about it that I just found out after using it for quite some time now. Um, yesterday for some reason I had it on my floor and after using it for so many hours, my floor was wet. And I'm not sure if that's normal or not, I'll have to ask them. Um, so that's just one thing. Obviously it's a humidifier and the humidifier, uh, you guys want to look around? The humidifier is letting out water, but it was really wet this time. So I'm not sure about that. There's beepy. So anyways, I came by just to tell you guys that I appreciate you guys so very much. I still intend on doing YouTube. I've just been going through some, I don't know, personal stuff. Like, I'm not sure if, I don't think it's depression. I just, I just think that I'm very uninspired. And if you look at my desk, it's been like this for a good three or four months. And for some reason, I can clean my home whole house all of it and I can paint other things like my entertainment set um, just random things that, oh I even painted my basement <laughs> my husband is using it as his home office so that's all painted but I can't manage I don't seem to be able to find myself managing to clean up my desk I don't know, you know, I do believe that my inspiration has been poop since COVID and before that, since Janet passed. Now, if you don't know who Janet is, she's my friend that I used to call Pop and, um, she passed away from cancer and we used to talk daily and um, I met her through uh, a YouTuber here on YouTube and that YouTuber and I, if you obviously you've noticed, had a fallout and I'm fine with it now and I'm sure she's fine with it and she's a good person. But we just weren't meant to be in each other's lives at this time. But yeah, she's a good person. Um, I'm a good person. Janet was a good, is or was a good person. She passed away. But ever since she passed away, Janet, um, I've kind of been sluggish. Um, I'm very grateful to have had 
that YouTuber in my life because she helped me through a lot and I helped her through a lot and we were there when we needed to be with each other at the time we needed to be with each other but through her I met Janet and Janet and I at first I thought Janet um, and I wouldn't connect but in due time Janet helped me a lot in my helped me and my family a lot um, as you guys know my mom has breast cancer which she's doing really well Janet helped me through so much emotionally and financially um, I'll be the first to say it um, and Janet and I became very close I know a lot of her history and she knows enough about my history but I got to know her and her history and her childhood and her living and her relationships and her point of view and a lot of things that I never thought I would get to know about her because I didn't think she and I connected, but eventually we did. And the reason I sigh is because I know there's people that are going to watch this video and go running and uh, spread the news. And you know what? That's okay. This is my story. It, and this is my time to live. And I'm only saying my truth, my story. My whole point of making this video is, one, to get a video up for you guys, other than the review, and to let you guys know where my brain is and what it looks like right now. This is what my brain looks like right now. And uh, I really am having a hard time uh, being inspired. I have support by, from my husband. Um, and I'm just, just trying to think what else to tell you guys. Uh, what my reasoning is. And I think that that's me. basically my whole reasoning is... I'm just stuck. Creatively, I'm stuck. Uh, I know that a few of you guys feel the same way. And I want to get out of this slump. I have ideas. But I'm not drawn to painting right now. What I'm drawn to is making jewelry. And I have an idea. But I can't get that idea um, on video until I clean this up. And I tell myself every day after cleaning the whole house and exercising, indoor exercising, and stretching and all that good stuff and cooking, I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna go to my room, I'm gonna chill out for a little while and I'm gonna watch some YouTube. And some YouTube becomes hours of YouTube. And I keep telling myself, okay, clean up, and I don't, and clean up, and I don't. It's just a season, I guess. Uh, it seems like every year around this time, I get into a slump, and I'm finding out that I am 40, how am I, 45? I'll be 46 March, this March, March the 6th. I'm very emotional, sensitive person. I'm a Pisces. I'm um, uh, a hard friend, meaning uh, if, if I let you into my life. <laughs> um, I love hard. And I give hard. And I fall hard. And um, that's basically what happened with Janet Marsh over there in the United Kingdom and she was out of nowhere so quick taken from her family and from me and my family uh, my husband and John started making a connection as well which is Janet's husband and uh, all that stopped and it was really quick and abrupt and fast. 
And I think I just stayed stuck. My emotions did for sure. Um, I don't know. So um, I've even thought, okay, turn on music and clean up. And I just don't. But I also want to tell you guys that out of this room, I'm well. Like I'm doing well out of the room. But as soon as I come into this room, I go into a slump. Yet this room is for creativity and inspiration and therapy. But I don't seem to want to give myself therapy. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know what I think... I left my emotions in this room. I used to sit here and chat with that YouTuber and um, that no longer happens. And I am used to sit here and chat with Janet on the daily, Janet Marsh on the daily and that no longer happens. So I think I left my emotions in here and I need to clean them up clean up my emotions and reconnect with my creativity. Doing this video helps me out and I'm hoping it helps a few of you guys out as well. I do remember when I was doing videos, I was helping a lot of people with mental mental disabilities, physical dis disabilities, people many 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 different people around the world and I stopped doing that and I feel like I failed those people as well I do want to come back like I mentioned but I need to get this jury duty thing out of the way um what was I saying before that oh another thing I think that is not inspiring to me is having everything hidden although I thought that Hiding my stuff and organizing in these big closets was going to help me out and make the room look cleaner. But it seems like it's not. I have that one there. And then I have one, two, three, four more all the way around my room. And they're all closed up and everything I love is closed up. And then the things that I do have visual are, how can I say, still tucked away in a sense, but out, but I can't see them. So my husband has a thought of hopefully replacing those doors with some kind of clear doors or glass doors so I can see in and be inspired. Another thing we're thinking of is hanging my art with a hook from the door into frames and just hanging those out so I can be inspired as well. And that it, it is what it is right now. Maybe yeah, I'm hoping it's just this season. Um, maybe I'll meet a new person and try to bond with that person as well I need a new friend <laughs> um, a positive friend an inspiring friend let's see I have postcards just chilling right there in those yellow manila folders waiting to be mailed out I am so afraid of COVID that I'm really not leaving the house and I'm really not going outside in my yard too much. I go out maybe once a day just to water the lawn real quick and come back in. I do feel this stuff is very airborne and I, I'm afraid of it. I run to the grocery store. I wear my mask, which is... Um, two layers of fabric and one filter inside. I do have N95s. I use those sometimes as well. I've had N95s for years. We used to, we've had them because they used to be available many years ago. 
Um, so we have some. They were dusty, but I cleaned them up. Anyways, um, yeah, I even have a new iPhone Pro, iPhone 12 Pro. Um, I want to get a gimbal. A company sent me a microphone and light and an iPhone holder, and I'll do a review on that in a, in a few days, possibly. But um, my camera's still up there. My lights are still up there. Oh, I just wanted to come by and give you guys an update. You guys deserve it. Um, and I just wanted to talk about feelings and myself and my story. As that is, you know, something I can do. Anyways, let me show you an, a view up. <laughs> Look, I even have my foot scrubber there. That's gross. <laughs> uh, but I'm not depressed. I'm not crying. I'm not feeling terrible. I'm just not inspired at all. My water. Oh, that's my um, chalk paint I made for the stuff I painted. I even bought beading needles. I haven't used them. They're just chilling. Oh, and I got this stuff. It's really good. If you guys want something really good to make jewelry, this is really, really good. It's six pounds, 0 0.08 millimeters. Um, I got it in black. It's really good. Mm, just random things. My headphones for working out. My Dymo chargers, jewelry, it's just a mess. Look, my bra, fabric, that's my brain and my inspiration is just stuck. I'm, my foot is still hurt and injured from the car accident. Um, I went for my second mammogram. I came out negative, so no breast cancer, thank God. Um, I'm still having a bit of um, acid reflux, and it feels like I'm having a heart attack, but I'm not having a heart attack. It's just stress, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I'm upping my physical activity and working out. I just recently got, George and I purchased a uh, elliptical. He has one now, and I have one now. His is different than mine. Mine is made for my knees and for recovery of my foot injury from being hit by the car. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing, I wear these little pads on my feet all day long. They're not comfortable, but I wear them because it helps these pads here. Let me show them to you. So they look like this. There's a left and a right. And inside is these silicones. And, and the silicone basically helps my um, arch here recover because now I have um, something plantar fasciitis or something, fasciitis, I don't know how to say it, due to the, the car accident. Uh, my lawyers suck, and I need to look for a new lawyer. So yeah, I wear it on both feet. This is my injured foot right here. I need to do another peel. <laughs> yeah, I got tiny feet. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm still dealing with that. Therapy is canceled due to COVID. Um, my physician for my feet is canceled due to COVID. So I decided to purchase that elliptical, um, to help me recover faster. So that's it, guys. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and watch YouTube. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully send me good vibes so that I can 
come back and be inspired, 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 inspired. I've been watching a lot of TikTok. I do have a few videos on TikTok, but even that I stopped. Anyways, thanks for listening. If I can help you guys with anything, uh, and if you have any questions, I open my comments back on. I'm no longer on Facebook. Um, I'm no longer on Instagram. But um, I'm here. Hopefully I'll stay here. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Just wanted to update you guys. Bye, guys.